There's no like the smell of fresh country air and five-star luxury. Very impressive, Curly. Very oh. impressive. Wait a minute. I don't think this is right. This is Benbury Manor. We went Benbury Lodge. Manor Lodge, same difference. Oh, look. There's the golf course. Oh, yeah, this is fantastic, Curly. <laughs> I mean, it must be costing Fresco's a bomb to put us up here. Peaches for Curly Watts. Hey, Bip! Hooray! Hey, Bip! Hooray! Wait a minute. Hey, Bip! Hooray! Hooray. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, everybody inside. I have an overwhelming need to be pampered. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't bother getting your case out yet. I'm sure this is the wrong place. I told you I would have been happy to read the map for you, Curly. Are you all right? You look a bit ready in face. How come you brought so much luggage? I'll have you know, I've packed only the essentials. My lounge suit, my smart casual, my plus force for golf and my dinner suit. Swanky hotels like this can be a sartorial minefield if you're not prepared. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Benbury Manor. Oh, I'm sorry, would you excuse me a moment? Certainly. Oh, you know, Mike used to bring me to places like this. You still miss him? Well, you know, sometimes. I mean, not that I ever saw much of him, not with his rounds of golf and business meetings at the bar. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. How may I help you? You may help us, my Blossom, by allowing us to book into your fine establishment. Do you have reservations? We do. May I have your name? Frederick Elliot, Master Butcher. We're with the Fresco party, actually. That's right. Forward with Freshcoats. Did I hear Fresco? Yes. What are they doing here? Obviously, our Weatherfield branch is run by staff who can't read simple directions. Leave them, James. I want to keep a low profile. Let's get out of the way before they recognise us. You go on. I'll join you in a minute. What do you mean, the wrong place? Oh, it's an easy mistake to make. Benbury Lodge is about three miles further up the main road. Thank you. Listen, could you have a word with someone and get some decent signposts put up? So what's he like, this lodge? Like this place, only a bit smaller? Fred, we're going to be late. Come on. Go on, Ashley, we're loading up again. So, do they have a golf course at this lodge, or do we use the facilities here? Fred! What? Out! Oh! oh I'm sorry. Come on. Um, excuse me. I came in with the Freshco party, but they seem to have disappeared. I think they went that way. Oh, right. Thanks. My pleasure. Have a good weekend. I will. You too. Bye. No, no, Curly, you've got it wrong again. Well, the sign said Benbury Lodge, Fred. But this isn't an hotel, it's a bunch of cow sheds. You know, I agree with Fred. I like the other place better. Let's have a vote. Who wants to stop at the hotel and who wants to stop here with this load of cattle? We are not having a vote. It's not up for debate. We are all staying here together and as a team. How come he's so bossy all of a sudden? That's no, not bossy, it's leadership. Uh, fresh, cool Weatherfield? Yes, that's us. And you must be Norman Watts. Team leader and store manager. Yeah. Jock McCall. I'll be a team trainer, facilitator and assessor during the course. Will we be using the golf course at the hotel or have you got one here? Very good. Yes, Schumer is one of seven essential building blocks for creating a positive team dynamic. <laughs> you're 20 minutes late, Mr Watts. Uh, yeah, yeah, we went to the manor by mistake. Right, you're not getting somebody to check the map? Um, Curly was actually reading the map. Yeah, all right, we're a bit late. Is that a problem? <laughs> Look, competition is an integral part of this course, Mr Watts. All the other teams have arrived before you. I would suggest that gives them an advantage. Right, if you all like to get your bags, I'll show you to your quarters in a minute. Okay. What are you writing? You'll be constantly assessed throughout the weekend. Uh, is that about me? That's right. Yeah, but I didn't know we'd started. We started as soon as you arrived. Right, then, this will be your uh, home for the next three days. Fred, you're catching flies. Come on, man, let dogs eat rabbits. Oh, yes! Bunk beds. 
Can I have top bunk? You can have all four. I'm not stopping here. I say I'm not stopping here. Now, I suggest you get some lunch ASAP. First exercise starts at 1,400 hours. Ah, lunch. Do we go up to a manor and have a slap of feed there? No, no, we have our own kitchens here. Oh, good. What's on the menu? Er, uh, chicken stew, I think. Well, I expect it'll be hot and nutritious. Mm. So they stopped serving ten minutes ago. You hey, well, I'm starving. You were late. Might be a few sandwiches left. Uh, you better be quick, mind. I want you all outside in your tracksuits in 27 minutes for the first exercise. And what is the first exercise? Well, it's a problem-solving exercise to assess spatial awareness and interpersonal communication. I think I'll give it a miss. Look, all our exercises are specifically designed for a six-person team. Ah, well, I didn't pack a tracksuit, you see. I mean, uh, uh, to be frank with you, uh, Jock, is it? I don't actually own one. I mean, oots, mon, do I look like a tracksuit person? Oh, we've got plenty here. I'll, uh, I'll get you one. Extra, extra large, is it? I do not like that, man. So there we are. You have the river with five islands. Now, the object of this exercise is for each of the three teams to take the uh, five planks of different length to transport yourselves and the six sacks from one side of the river to the other. Uh, excuse me, uh, if there's five islands, then we're going to need six planks. We seem to be a plank short. No, we are not. So, this is a mental test as well as a physical one? That's right. Now, does everybody understand what's required? Right, get the planks, we'll go down to the river. Uh, hang on a minute. We'll go flood coming. <laughs> what does he look like? Well, he did say he wasn't a tracksuit man. <laughs> look, look, it's all right. We can do this. I once saw this on the back of a matchbox. <laughs> Come on, move it. Come on, let's go, 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 go. go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'll get it back, Ken. Get it. What is the problem? The plank's not long enough. What do you mean it's not long enough? It's too short, it won't reach bank. Yes, it's the wrong plank. We must have made a mistake somewhere. No, I don't want to cause trouble, but could we hurry up? What's happening up front? I could probably jump it. No, don't jump, because we have to use the planks. All right, then, come on, then. What do you suggest we do? Will you just give me a minute to think? Hey, Napoleon, what's the hold up? Do you mind not shouting? while I try to work out where we went wrong. Hang on a minute, Curly. Listen, if we swap the blue plank with the red one, the red one will reach the bank, won't it? Do you know, I think you're right. Well done, Nita. Shall we do that then, Curly, or what? Come on, Curly, make a decision or we'll miss us dinner and all. All right, all right, do that then. Right, come on. Swap, right. swap, can I've got it. Okay. That's it, that's it, now we're cooking with gas. Right, Fred, come on, come towards me, come on. Fred, come on, come on. That plank will never hold me, it's too fragile. Fred, it'll be all right, come on. If I want that plank, it'll break. <laughs> Fred, shut your big gob and get your big fat bum moving now and walk that plank. Please. You're the leader. Right, come on, Fred! Come on! Come on, Fred! Hang on, Fred, second thought. Well, it's made my day. And I'm wearing my best brogues. Fred, you all right? Oh, I'm fine. As soon as I saw this freezing cold river, I thought, I do hope we have a chance to go for a paddle. You won't believe this. There's no hot water. No. Well, you arrive late. You're playing catch-up all day. Now, I suggest you get an early night. Big day tomorrow. Good night. It's only nine o'clock. I say we head off up to Manor for a decent drink. Fred, it's a three-mile walk. Yeah. All right. It'll have to be Plan B. 
I always have one for emergencies. Anybody fancy an eye cup? Well, when we got married in March, that took it for granted. I miss her more now than I've ever done. Well, you make the most of Maxine. I lost Deirdre once. I'm just lucky I got a second chance. Do you want to see a picture? Of Maxine? It's not that I'm worried I forget what she looks like. I just like carrying it around with me. Very nice. Very nice. Have you got a picture of Deirdre? Yeah. She looks much younger. Well, she was younger when the photograph was taken. Right. This scratchy old blanket is making me itch. I should be all tucked up in freshly laundered Egyptian cotton. Listen, Fred, Dad. Uh, I'm sorry that I shouted at you today. I, I didn't mean it. Oh, well, you were under stress from that Nazi commandant. Hey, what's news about the escape tunnel? It's no joke. If we do as badly tomorrow as we did today, I reckon Jock McFascist might recommend me for the chop. Give over. You know, it's out about and out, that one. I say out about and out. Yo, he's only acting under orders. Well, you top bunkers ready for the light out? Uh, shut it. Yeah, fine by me, Fred. And thanks for the whiskey. Never let it be said that Fred Elliot is not a team player. <clears throat> Good night, then. Good night, Fred. Good night, Curly. Good night, Ashley. Good night, Jen. Everybody, out of bed. It's time for the next exercise. If you can start raving mad, it's one thirty. That's right. Well, it's still dark. Look, what exercise is this? Oh, I'll explain all the details outside in the minibus. Oh. Well, we're going somewhere. Hmm. You'll see. I'm not. I'm stopping here. Well, this is a team exercise. If he doesn't come, you all fail the course. Good. Everybody back in bed. Come on, Fred, shake a leg. I'll be waiting outside. You've got five minutes. Fred, come on, we need you. No, you don't. Come on, Uncle Fred. I don't want to fail this course. Well, we're awake now. <sighs> Might as well do it. Fred, I thought you said you were a team player. Well, I'm going to have nightmares about this. That is if I'm not having a nightmare right now. Hey, hang on a minute, will you? The Uncle Fred needs a breather. We can't keep stopping every time he's short of breath. No, but really, he doesn't look so well. Well, he shouldn't have drank all that whiskey then, should he? Oh, Curly, we could all do with a break. No, if we keep stopping, we'll never get back on time. He won't be getting back at all if you don't. Yeah, come on, Curly, ask this right. Fred needs a breather. Look, if you can't hack it, you shouldn't have come. I don't need you to tell me that. My feet are killing me. And I'm so through to my best. I'm too old to go yomping round the moors. I'm a butcher, not a member of three para. Look, will you stop arguing and pass the water round? I'm as dry as a duck in the desert. No, no water, not yet. Eh? Well, we've only got one bottle between the six of us. So? So it's got to be rationed. Curly, 
If Alma needs a drink, just give her a drink, all right? I could do with a swill and all. No, it's too early. It's another 20 minutes before the water stops. Right. Wait, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like, Curly? I give the water out. Oh, come on, let's not fall out. We've got enough to cope with as it is. Exactly, Ken. So all those in favour of having a drink, say aye. 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 Well, go on, then. Die of thirst. See if I care. Hey, Genghis Khan. This is Derbyshire, not Gobi Desert. More likely to drown before night's out. Kelly? No, I'll wait until the right and proper time. Fine. All right, then, folks. What do we say? Five minutes break and then we get going again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, if I'm right, <laughs> there should be a barn or a farm building just <laughs> ahead. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. And then there should be a cart track that goes to the left. And we follow... Yes, to the left. And then we follow that all the way down, and then we should hit the main road. Keep Oh! Oh! Oh, please. Oh, Ashley. Yeah. Uh, Ashley. Uh, it's me, I think I've done it. Oh. Is this some kind of wind-up? Uh, no, it's not a wind-up. What are you talking about? Can see him in pain. He's not the only one. Oh, for goodness sake, oh. have some compassion, Curly. Oh. Is it broken? No. Look, can you wiggle your toes? <laughs> well, try pressing against my oh. hand. Oh. Oh. No, it's not broken. It's just badly sprained. Brilliant. That's all we oh. need. You say one more thing against him, and I promise you'll bop your one. Hang on a second, Ashley. Just calm down. It's obvious that Fred can't go on like this, and we need to assess the situation. I already have. We leave him here. We go on, and we send someone back to help him. Oh. Leave him here? Well, yeah, that way we only lose ten points. Is that all you care about, losing points? That's the reason we're here. Well, I'm not leaving him up here on his own. He could die. Oh, leave off. One night on the moor's not enough to kill him. I've warned you. Hang on a second. Look, we start as a team and we'll finish as a team. The only way we're going to finish as a team is if someone carries him. Exactly. Oh. You've oh. got to be joking. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. No! No, we're too far over to left. We're on the wrong path. Well, we should be over there by yon trees. See, are you not listening? We should be over there by yon trees. Right, hang on a minute. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> I've had enough. I can't go on. I need a rest. Rest? Rest? We can't be resting. If we're not back by our fate, we'll miss us breakfast. I don't care. Don't care? What kind of an attitude's that? I thought you were the one who was supposed to have leadership qualities. I swear to God, I will swing for you before this night's over, Fred. Oh, Curly, please, that's enough. I have no stamina. That's what's wrong with the young folk of the day. I say no stamina. Just think of all that bacon, egg and sausage sizzling in that pan waiting for us when we get back. Please, Uncle Fred. Don't talk about food, please. Hey! What's that you've just put in your gob? What? Come here. What is it? Come well, on. You. Now, now you lying no. to me. I've warned you. you. Hey, don't no. warn me. Warn him. No. What have you got in here? Go, go. Ah, no. Nothing, nothing. No, 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 I'm now him. What's this then? Oh, Uncle Fred. I can explain. Don't bother. I needed sustenance. We carried you! It seems like miles. I mean, we carried you because you were part of the team, because we cared about you. I mean, I mean what, what sort of team spirit is that? Well, there's, there's some left. I mean, have you, have it, you're welcome to it. No, thank you. I'd rather starve. I'll have it. Give it here. Right, now, each of you, take a piece. We're going to need all the strength we can get if we're going to carry him back to base, aren't we? Back to base? Are you suggesting that we drag this sack of spuds back to base after what he's done? Well, Curly, yes, I am. And if you've got a problem with it, then fine. Anyone else? Well, I don't deserve it. Look, we've still got a way to go, but if we take it steady and we take plenty of rest, we'll get him back at the lodge before breakfast. So I say we go for it, OK? Spoken like a true leader. Spoken like a veritable true... Sorry. Hey! 
Okay, you all got back for your breakfast. Some of you even managed to grab a few hours' kip into the bargain. So it's time to reflect on the night's events. And as usual, we'll be noting your comments. So feel free to tell us anything of importance. You can speak openly and without restraint. Now, there's one thing I'd like to mention before we start, and that is the Weatherfield team's performance. Now, they had real problems up there last night, but they showed true grit and resource. They turned what might have been a disaster into a success, thanks to what must have been excellent cooperation, teamwork, and some very fine leadership. So well done. So let's get this quite clear. You're saying that Mr. Watts wanted to leave you on the moor before you had your accident. Correct. Our progress was being severely restricted by Mr. Elliot's very slow pace. I mean. I didn't mean to leave him out there. No. I meant for us to, to carry on and then for Fred to follow at his own pace. That's not what you said. No, it's not. I was proved right, though, wasn't I? He showed his true colours in the end, didn't he? How do you mean? Nothing. He doesn't mean anything. Well, I mean, we got back. I mean, that's what's important, isn't it? No thanks to him. I say no thanks to him. We only got back because that young lady there showed the true spirit of natural leadership. Only because she wouldn't leave you there. Mr Sire, would you like to add anything to this? No, only that we worked as a team. We carried him for miles and miles, despite the fact that he scoffed a whole bar of chocolate in secret without offering it to anyone else. Oh, you may laugh now, but it wasn't funny when we were up there. But you were in favour of leaving, Mr Elliot. Uh, chocolate bar or no chocolate bar? I thought it was the right decision given the circumstances. I see. Oh, do you? Do you? I mean, whose fault was it that he was out there in the first place? Yours! Sending an old man, unfit, out there into the cold and dark. Hey! I take exception to that. I didn't force anyone to do anything. You could have objected at any time on the journey. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you can make your little comments on your notebook. And I didn't choose the team, Mr Watts. You are the branch manager. If your team was unsuitable, that is your responsibility. Oh, I see. So it's all my fault again now, is it? Besides, it must have been a group decision to allow Mr Elliot to go on night manoeuvres. No, it wasn't. Curly forced him into it. Hang on a minute, Ashley. We've all got to take some of the blame for that. Jock's right. We should have seen that Fred couldn't hack it and said something straight away. Besides, we can't blame Curly for everything, can we? <laughs> So, any potential captains of industry, Jock? Mm, a few. Uh, Harry Greaves from uh, Burnley, yeah. Thompson from Wigan. Uh, the young Weatherfield girl, she did well. Need to decide. Sorted out a pretty sad set of misfits. In fact, I was surprised when they arrived. I mean, these, uh, these weekends don't come cheap. You're telling me? Mm, I like to try and give value, but it's hard when the raw material's mostly past it. Well, I'll be having a word with our Mr. Watts, don't worry. Mm, hardly a man of vision, is he? No. But then I suppose we have him to thank for at least one success. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah. Mr. Sai, I believe we've met before. The manor? I'm James Kitching, by the way. Nice to meet you again. I've been hearing good things about you. Really? Doc McCall was just singing your praises. Very impressed by your handling of what could have been a tricky situation. It wasn't just me. It was a team effort. Well, according to him, you're a born leader. And that's what these courses are all about. Finding talent. What's that now? 1911 for me. My serve. Right. You're not really with this, Curly, are you? Well, it's hardly been a raging success, has it, as far as I'm concerned? No, I suppose not. There's no point getting upset about it. The whole object of the exercise is to evaluate what's happened. 2011. I was singled out, you know. Well, that's one of the drawbacks of leadership, isn't it? You have to take the plaudits with the criticisms. I told him not to come. I begged him not to come. Game. 
Ashley, fetch us another cup of tea, there is a good lad. Get it yourself. Now, see, that's no way to speak to your father. You really let me down with that chocolate bar, Uncle Fred. Yeah. Hi. So, what did James Kitchen have to say then? He didn't tell you how our team were getting on by any chance, did he? No, not really. Um, it's just making small talk, you know. So who is he then? Evelyn Hunter Rochford's nephew. So who's he when he's on there? Only Fresco's area director, that's all. Oh. Oh. I suppose you think I'll let you down? No. No, I don't. I just think the whole thing's been ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I don't suppose I'm allowed to say that, am I? You say so if you want to, Alma. I wish I was brave enough to do so. Why don't we all just get up, walk out and go home? Well, for me, I would probably get the sack. But don't let that stop you doing it. Well, you're the one with the motor. Well, I'm not walking. You'd have to carry me again. You can forget that. So it's plan B, is it? Stick it out for one more day. And then vow never to do it again. I've vowed that already. Morning, campers. Oh. Hmm. It's a beautiful day out there. A bit cold, but it's all right if you keep moving. What have you been doing outside? I've been for a jog, Fred. Only a couple of miles just to get the blood circulating. Very commendable. Thank you. What are we doing today? Does anybody know? Mm. Um, well, I'm told it's lots of things, but I do know that one of them, for definite, is abseiling. Is that when they push off a cliff on the end of a piece of rope? That's basically it. Well, don't look at me. If I go to the edge of a cliff, it'll be to admire the view, not so they can shove me off it. So that's the uh, programme for today. Now, I want you to enjoy it, but remember, you are still being assessed, both in terms of your own individual commitment and how you relate to your colleagues and work as a team. Well, I'm not working without me. I'm stopping here. That's not my problem. Speak to your team leader. He's already spoken to me, and I agree with him. We all do. Mm, fine. Mr Kitchen, do you have anything you want to say? Just that I'm very impressed with your commitment so far, and I'm sure today is going to be no exception. Good luck, everybody. Meet outside in seven minutes. I do not like that man. I envy you, Fred. Well, they can't stop me, can they? Eh? I own my bit. Any road. Our Ashley here will be upholding the honour of Elliot's provisions and meats, won't you? Oh, I'm not absolutely. The worst of flammable lads. Oh, don't worry, Ashley. We'll go down together. All right, come on. Have fun. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Hi. Hi. I must say, you have my sympathy. Why? Being part of a team like that. <laughs> Don't worry, we shan't let it reflect upon you. Now, have you all enjoyed yourselves? Yes. Yes. I know I have. I've not set foot outside. Now, this weekend has not been about winners and losers. Hopefully you are all winners. I don't think that includes us somehow. But all the same, we do have a couple of awards we'd like to give out. Jock. Well, top team of the weekend for showing motivation, coordination and commitment is the Burnley team. Yeah. And captain team of the weekend... Refusing to obey orders. And keeping a sense of proportion. Oh, the Weatherfield team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up, I'm getting more. Oh, I don't care. I'm the mob happy. Yeah, I think we all are. I'm starving as well. You know, for a company that owns umpteen supermarkets, they haven't a clue about good food. I say, not a notion. <laughs> Our second award is for individual effort and achievement. Because, all right, teamwork's what it's all about. It's what Fresh Co's success is built upon. But we're also always on the lookout for the individual who might make all the difference. The one who stands out from the crowd. So this weekend's individual award goes to... Nita Desai from Weatherford. <laughs> Let's go to the manor for a drink. I'll meet you in my car in ten minutes. OK. Well, 
Well done, Nita. You've saved Weatherfield's honour. Not only for your time and energy, but also for your pain and suffering on this forward with Freshco's weekend. So what was he saying to you while I was gazing into your eyes and talking your hands out? Just congratulations. Oh, it doesn't sound like congratulations to me. I must be to have a drink with him in the manor. Well, I hope you said yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, congratulations on your well-deserved award. Well, thank you for giving it to me. Hmm. <laughs> Honey, I have to ask, why are the rest of your team such a bunch of no-hopers? <laughs> I mean, they're the biggest collection of misfits we've ever had. Oh, they're very nice, really. It's just not their sort of thing, that's all. Hmm. Well, forget about them. Tell me about you. Well, I can hardly tell you about my job, can I? You know more about it than I do. And are you happy in it? Yes, for now I am. Ambitious? Oh, yes. Ruthless. Well, um... No, you're far too nice for that. <laughs> so, intelligent, ambitious, and beautiful. I have a feeling you're going to go a long way. So, so, we had a drink. And? And, um, talked about this and that. And, uh, did he make a pass? Oh, wow. Well. well, I'm sorry to go <laughs> straight to the point, but I'm never going to get there if I don't die. Yeah. Um, well, not as such, no. But, uh, but he was interested. I think so. He <laughs> did his eye. You are a fast cat, and no mistake. I mean, here are the rest of us just trying to get through in one piece, and there are you copping off with Mr High and Mighty, who owns the whole shooting match. He doesn't own it, does it? It's his uncle. Oh, it's but he wasn't here. It might have been my type. <laughs> Well, I really think you deserve that medal. What was it for? Most promising newcomer? No, individual effort. Well, I think you deserve it in more ways than one. Well, <laughs> Governor, <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's get it down. Come on. Hang on, hang on. It's not that bad. Oh, give over, Nagging. What's up with your back? Oh, God, God. I feel like the Pope. I could almost kiss the pavement. That will not let me stop you. I said almost. Get against that. Oh, oh, oh Gail, oh, yes. Dear. And I can tell you there were times when oh, I never thought hey. we were going to make oh, really. it. Sounds interesting. Yeah, interesting isn't the right no, word, I believe me. Hello. How are you feeling? Well, let's just say I'm glad you're back. Have you still got tomorrow off? Yeah, and today, yeah. Deary, wild horses would have keep me away from that court of appeal. <laughs> so, I don't suppose I miss much. Well, Roy put me mam's nose out of joint. Not, well, that's not hard. And Mike spent Friday night in the prison cells. What? But apart from that, no. Oh, well, uh, he's arranging some alternative millennium no, parts. No, 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 no. Oh, Oh, drink driving, what else? Oh. Alma, mm. if you've got a minute. So, um, tonight in the Rovers, I'll fill you in, you fill well, me in. No right. arguments. Oh, no, no. We fresco-ites right. don't argue. We just have <laughs> constructive <laughs> debates. Sounds like it. See you later. Yes. So then, right, what's going on? Oh, he only wants us in for a debriefing at 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, uh, missus. But well, that's barely time to get changed. That's what I said. Well, I think that's fair enough. There's no I in Team Curly. All right, all right. What time does the team think, then? 11 o'clock? 12. One. Uh, one of the earliest. Well, like I say, count me out. One o'clock it is. I want you back at work. Sharpish! Unless your name happens to be Ashley Peacock, in which case it's back to work at 10. You up? If this weekend's taught us out, it's that we work for Elliot's, and Elliot's is a benign dictatorship. In other words, I want you back behind that counter at 10 o'clock sharp. You're kidding, I need me bed, my Uncle Fred. That's what I'm worried about. Your young bride gets wind you're home, you'll be as limp as a dishrag by lunchtime. 